In this video, you'll learn how to create your first circuit using a Particle third generation device and the Grove Starter Kit for Particle Mesh. This video uses the Particle Argon, but the exact same steps apply to Boron and Xenon devices. Before proceeding with this tutorial, your Argon, Boron, or Xenon should be configured and claimed to your Particle account. If you still need to claim your device, visit setup.particle.io for continuing. To get started, you'll need the following items a particle argon, one micro USB cable, and these items from the Grove starter kit, one Grove shield, one Grove connector cable, and one Grove DHT-11 temperature and humidity sensor. Using the provided components, you're going to build a simple circuit and write firmware that reads values from the temperature and humidity sensor and publishes those values to the particle device cloud every 30 seconds. To assemble the circuit, first plug your argon into the Grove shield included with your Grove starter kit. Then, connect one end of the Grove connector to the bottom of the temperature sensor. Finally, plug the other end of the connector into the shield port labeled D2. Thanks to the simplicity and power of the Grove system, that's all you need to do to set up your hardware. With the circuit complete, it's time to write firmware. Open the Particle Web IDE by visiting build.particle.io in a browser. If you haven't already, sign in with your Particle account. To work with this sensor, you'll need a Particle Firmware Library. Firmware libraries are handy bits of code that you can include in your projects to make working with sensors, actuators, and services easier, just like libraries in any other programming language. To include firmware libraries, click the Bookmark button in the lower right corner of the Web IDE. Then, in the search box, type Grove and look for the Grove Temperature and Humidity Sensor to show up in the list. Click the library name to open it, then click on the dht 11 file under Examples, which will open a complete example project that we can use for our app. Click Use this example. A new project will be created in your account and opened in the editor window. The code for this example defines a pin value for the sensor and creates an instance of the DHT object. Then, in the setup, a serial monitor is started and the DHT object is initialized so that it's ready for us to use. Finally, the loop function reads the temperature and humidity and prints those out to the serial monitor with a 1 second or 1000 milliseconds delay each time. Let's modify this code a bit to post to the particle cloud each 30 seconds. First, at the top of the code, add a variable to hold the time of the last temperature reading. You'll use this so we can loop without putting delays in our code. Next, add an interval variable for the duration between sensor checks, which will be 30 seconds or 30,000 milliseconds. Next, in a loop, remove the delay. Add a local variable to hold the current time in the loop and an if statement, which will check to see if the interval time we defined above has elapsed. If it hasn't, the loop will continue until the interval has passed. If the time has elapsed, you'll want to update the timing variable before continuing. Copy the code that reads from the sensor in the loop and move it inside the if statement. This will ensure that we only read from the sensors and publish values every 30 seconds. Now, let's publish these readings to the Particle Device Cloud. Add a string variable to hold the readings and format them into a rudimentary JSON object. Then, at the bottom of the if statement, add a particle.publish call. The first parameter is the name of the event, and the second is the string we just created to hold the values. To run this code on our argon, you'll need to perform a process called flashing. Open the Devices tab by clicking the crosshair icon on the left side of the screen. If this is your first particle device, it should be the only one in the list and you can continue to the next step. If not, select your argon by clicking the star next to the device name. Once your device is selected, flash it by clicking the lightning bolt icon at the top left of the screen. Behind the scenes, the particle device cloud is compiling your code into a binary that can be installed on your device and applying it to the device using our over-the-air firmware update mechanism or OTA. During this process, your device will blink magenta and it may restart a few times. If there's a newer version of Particle's device OS firmware than what's on the Argon, 
That will be applied at this time. Once your device is updated, you can view published events from the Particle Console. Navigate to console.particle.io, click on the Devices tab, and click the device running your project. Under the Event Logs, you should see the temperature and humidity readings from your project appear in the list every 30 seconds. Try covering the sensor to see what happens to the readings. Congratulations! You've built your first circuit with the Particle Argon in the Grove Starter Kit. To continue your journey with additional Grove devices, head over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!